Greetings, I, the War Al, greets you, and welcome to another episode of Strad Talk, the series where we talk about strategies for the game Counter Strike Global Defensive. We're looking at a round between Titan and Envious, and Envious does a very interesting buying strategy here, very interesting economic strategy. So, we're going to be talking about how to manage your economy, how to look at what you should be buying and what you should be doing on this specific round based on how much money you have and based on the context. Now, you may be wondering why this video was uploaded, then removed, and then re-uploaded. So, in a video about how to buy, in a video about how to manage your economy, I messed up the numbers, and I apologize for that. It's very embarrassing. I'll go over what specific mistakes I, I made because there's something wrong with my brain. There's something wrong with me. All right, so look at the money right now that Envious has. And we're just going to ignore context. So you need 2,700 to purchase an AK-47 and 1,000 to get armor and helmet. That is 3,700 for the round. I've messed that up in a million takes because for some reason my mind is stuck in the past, guys. The AK-47 in 1.6 costs 2,500 and my mind keeps thinking 2,500 and I keep saying 3,500. It's 3,700 and three of their players meet that threshold to where they can do a buy on this round. The other players could forego a helmet or just go for a Galil, buy something light and go for a full buy win on this round. Now, you need about 700 for the nades and flashes because you want, like, a, a, a smoke and then two flashes. But really, once you buy, everything left over is just gravy. Envious doesn't do that. They do something pretty interesting. Now, in a situation like this, there's sort of two ways you can go about it. The first is to buy because they have the money to. And the second is to buy only what you can so that you can buy on the next round. Now we look at the context. They're coming off of a two round and a loss win, meaning that the third one, they're going to get 2,400 reward money for their loss. They're also on the T side, so there's that possible 800 per player for a bomb plant, and then 300 for that specific player, which is a, that is a lot of money. Envious goes a very interesting route here, so we're going to hop back into the unedited portion of this and look at that. Let's watch what Envious does here. They do something really interesting, in my opinion. And that is to purchase up armor pistol on this round. Instead of buying up those AK-47s. And look at this. They slide into battle. I'm not sure why the demo is doing that, but it is. Nonetheless, we'll just have to work with it. It looks silly. It looks funny, doesn't it? Oh, they're walking again. Whatever, demo. You do your thing. I'll do my thing. They buy lots of flashes, lots of smokes, and do a cool strategy. So I was thinking like either they're going to buy up fully, which let's look at their money right now. They have enough money to where if they lose this, even without a bomb plant, they'll be able to buy fully on the next round. They'll be able to get the armor, uh, the armor helmet with an AK-47. Anything else is for the nades. So they decide to do this interesting strategy. So that's neat. I like this buy from Envious. It is smart. Let's look at the specific strategy that they decide to do. They're down economically. They do not have the money. Look what happens here at middle. This is crazy. It's difficult to see. So we have Titan pushing two players up really close at middle. One inside of the vents and one down here. We're going to see a, a complete smoke off here. And I'll show you, actually, right now, I'll show you as these smokes go down and as the players push out past each other because of those flashes, I'm going to show you how to do these smokes. So the concept of this strat is that you're going to push out middle and come into the vents without anybody seeing you from playing back there. So the positions you want to deal with are a player playing right here as you jump up. Uh, anybody playing at middle, this position here where you can peek it. Over here at, at uh, the op picking position right here, you got to block this out. Even headshots that could happen from here as players go into the vents. So how do you deal with all of these crazy positions up close like this? The only one you can't really deal with except with the flashes. So the smokes are to deal with all those. The flashes over the top are to deal with someone who's pushed up like this and is pushed up close. As well as shooting him in the face. Let's talk about these smokes. So you want one to land like right here in the middle to block off those positions. And then two to block off the center. So the first one is to block, you know, the more elegant one. Jump up on top of this thing, line up this thing so it's straight, then you want to look up and aim at the green right there. And watch this one, it bounces immaculately over and lands right in the center. Look how beautiful that is, and blocks off this position. So as we jump up here, look, can't see there, can't see there, it's great. You get into the vents. Now let's talk about the other two. These are more easy to do. You're just going to line up right in the corner right here. Uh, and look at the exact center 
at the top of that window thing where this more lighter white one is and let go. The second one is over in the corner next to this box and you're gonna aim at this one instead, the more lighter one. Aim a little bit down instead of up at the very top of it. And you see those bounce out and perfectly block off middle. So you can run out here, uh, kill whoever you have to deal with here as you flash out. We, you know, we talked about how to flash that in a previous video and then push out over into bombsite B. So what they were doing is putting four players out here and pushing through the vents and then one player coming a main. And the idea, I think, is that this area will be smoked down. So if that's smoked down, it doesn't make sense to move all your players in here. If you have more of your players moving out the vents, they can push checkers into the site. They can smoke off this position. So that's four smokes you've used now. And then move in. And you don't have to worry about, like, up top. You can actually watch that with your guns or flash it. Uh, you should probably save a smoke to re-smoke this position again, because that's going to be the more uh, difficult one to deal with as they enter. Because they're going to run in here and move over to uh, Generator and pick you inside of the site. All right. Well, let's hop back to the demo. So this is a really cool round. The smokes go down. The flashes come over the top. They hit the CT players. Terrorists charge out and just power their way into bombs. So it'd be four players through middle and one player happy coming uh, B main. And they're able to push into the site and actually take it, and then get that bomb planted, put themselves into a three versus two, grab the weapons off of the players that they've killed, and now they have kind of like a full buy against these CTs who have to try to retake it. And they don't! Envious ends up winning this round! I just thought it was a great strat, it was very smart from Envious, and it just worked out so well. Round 11, we find ourselves in a similar situation. Look at this, Titan is actually low economically, but so is Envious. Titan is coming um, from a win here where only one of their players survived and they don't really have a lot of money. The economies on either team are pretty much even. Envious actually is a little bit ahead. And lo they've lost one in a row for the next round uh, based on what they spend. And we'll watch what happens here. They take some time to plan it out once again. They decide to do the same thing. They're going to be buying up everything that they can here on this round. And going for the win. So this one's a little bit different because they're not doing the armor pistol. Only a few players are doing the armor pistol here. But they're going to be doing the same strategy. So they have three players with the armor pistol. Two with the AK. Next round they're not going to be able to buy. So they have to save. Even if they win this thing. You just have to keep track of where you are economically. And look at this. The strat works. The strategy is sound. And this is where you can separate the strategy of how you're pushing into the site from where you are uh, in terms of the economy. So they had to buy sort of the same stuff. It's a completely different situation, but they do the same strategy. And again, it works out. They put themselves into this two versus two. They grab the bomb and they eventually end up winning this round, even though they're like twitching all over the place. Smiths is having a great time. All right, thank you folks very much for watching. I guess the moral of the story is always press that tab button, check out your money, see where you are economically and make that decision of what you should buy and what you should do. Strat caller got to keep track of that sort of stuff. Going to be difficult to pull off in a pug, though, when a lot of people do not listen. But if you can get people buying and working together, you are going to have a distinct advantage. Thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer. Everyone makes mistakes, and I won't shy away from admitting mine. First draft of this video sucked, so I made it better.